Hi friends, as you know, the FFT function of a digital oscilloscope is a very nice feature that can be used in a variety of applications. However, it looks like to be tricky for some users, especially the beginners. However, in this video, I will show you how you can easily set up this FFT function in the Sigland SDS 1104 dash e oscilloscope although this oscilloscope is an entry level device however it offers uh, at least two or three uh, fantastic functions in the fft so let's get started All right, for the first test, I start with the 100 kHz sine wave signal. Now I configure the device, just replicate the process, press the acquire menu and then select the highest memory depth. In this device is 14, which is very good. Then play with the time division knob for the signal to look like this. Do you see? We just see a straight line at the top and bottom no rising or falling edges of the signals so press the math function and from the operator select FFT there we go because I prefer an exclusive screen so I just press config and from the display select exclusive you don't need to change this to for now, just press auto set. Then come here, you don't need to change the vertical setting, just go to horizontal. The center frequency has been detected correctly. The only thing we need to modify is, is this hertz per division. So let me decrease this so that's it so far so good winner winner chicken dinner as you know the x-axis in this plot is frequency and the y-axis is amplitude in db because it is a pure sine wave signal so it contains one major peak which the frequency of this peak is uh, 100 kilohertz what about a square wave which contains several high frequency harmonics? So I just changed the signal to 100 kilohertz square wave. Let me change this to 100 division, 100 hertz per division and shift this to the left. So you can see the major peak and the high frequency harmonics. Now I wanna show a nice feature of this FFT function for this device. Just go to the tools and press this type. I select pick and there we go. The device automatically detected the amplitude peaks. Show table on, show frequency on and I prefer sort by frequency, uh, sort by amplitude. You have options sort by frequency. I prefer amplitude. Let's come back. So everything is, is in front of our eyes. So the main frequency one sorted by amplitude. These are the harmonics. So that's it. We're done with our experiment. Uh, very easy process and every uh, and all of the cal necessary calculations are in front of our eyes. Let me go and let me go and uh, change the uh, signal to something else. Let's go 1 megahertz sine wave. So this should be like this. Do you see that? A straight line. So let's go to the math function. The first stepwise auto set. Then come here. 
horizontal change this to something lower there we go uh, the center frequency is 1 megahertz and 1 megahertz per division and this is the major peak of this uh, sine wave signal let's change it to the square wave there we go let me shift it to the left so that's it again winner winner chicken dinner really i am amazed by this intro level device it offers much more than its value much much more than its value i really like this fft feature of this device let me show you it's not finished yet let me show you this function uh, the averaging so this mode could be changed to the average the default value is 4 and let's see the noise the decrease and the how noise how much noise is decreased do you see that the effect of averaging so what we need more everything is ready okay i hope you like this video and use this feature in to solve your problems and to debug your secrets just uh, subscribe to the channel and give me a big thumbs up like this do you see that <laughs> catch you next time